The Lord is strengthening his saints of all ages as they come to his holy house. From Kinshasa to Zolikofen to Fukuoka to Oakland, the youth of their own initiative are overflowing temple baptistries. Across the world, there's a growing feeling drawing us to the house of the Lord. Have you wondered why the Lord would direct his prophet to now dot the earth with his holy temples? Why would he at this specific time give the needed prosperity to his covenant people that through their sacred tithes, hundreds of houses of the Lord could be built? Across the globe, houses of the Lord are coming closer to us. Why in our day? The Lord told us that in the last days, there would be distress among nations. People would be lovers of their own selves. All things would be in commotion. Confusion would abound, and men's hearts would fail them. We have certainly seen men's and women's hearts fail them. The enticements of the world, the distraction of alluring voices, the neglect of spiritual nourishment, the fatigue from the demands of discipleship. Perhaps you have been saddened as you have seen someone you love who at one time spoke sincerely of his and her faith in Jesus Christ, bore witness of the Book of Mormon and eagerly helped build the kingdom of God, suddenly move away, at least for now, from his or her beliefs toward the sidelines of the church. My counsel to you is don't despair. All is well, for with God, nothing is impossible. With this prophesied commotion and disbelief in the world, the Lord promised that there would be a covenant people, a people eagerly awaiting his return, a people who stand in holy settings and are not moved out of their place. He spoke of a righteous people, resisting the deceptions of the adversary, disciplining their faith, thinking celestial, and trusting completely in the Savior, Jesus Christ. Why is the Lord now bringing hundreds of his temples closer to us? One reason is that amid the turmoil and temptations of the world, he has promised to strengthen and bless his covenant saints, and his promises are being fulfilled. How do these holy houses strengthen, comfort, and protect us? We find an answer in the pleadings of the prophet Joseph Smith in the dedication of the Kirtland Temple. It was in this temple where the saints sang, will sing, and will shout with the armies of heaven. The Savior himself appeared, and prophets of old returned, bestowing additional priesthood keys to the restored gospel. On that sacred occasion in the Kirtland Temple, the prophet prayed that in the Lord's holy house, the saints would be armed with the power of God, that the name of Jesus Christ would be upon them, that his angels would have charge over them, and that they would grow up in the Lord and receive a fullness of the Holy Ghost. These powerful supplications are fulfilled in our lives as we faithfully worship in the house of the Lord. In his house, we are literally endowed with heavenly power. Our faith in Jesus Christ and our love for him is confirmed and fortified. We are spiritually assured of our true identity and the purposes of life. As we are faithful, we are blessed with protection from temptations and distractions. We feel our Savior's love as he lifts us from our difficulties and sorrows. We are armed with the power of God. In his holy house, we take his name more completely upon us. When we are baptized, we profess our belief in him and our willingness to keep his commandments. In the temple, we sacredly promise through our covenants to follow him forever. In the Kirtland Temple, the prophet Joseph prayed that angels would have charge over his saints. 
regularly performing ordinances for our ancestors in the temple brings a sweet and sure confirmation that life continues beyond the veil. Most of our experiences in the house of the Lord bring joyful peace and quiet revelation, more than dramatic intervention. But be assured, angels do have charge over us. The gift of the Holy Ghost is given to us as we are confirmed a member of the church. Each week as we worthily partake of the bread and water in remembrance of our Savior, we are promised His Spirit will always be with us. As we come with willing hearts to the house of the Lord, the most holy place on earth, we grow up in the Lord and can receive a fullness of the Holy Ghost. Through the power of the Holy Ghost, we are filled with peace and joy and unspeakable hope. We receive the strength to remain his disciples even when we find ourselves outside of holy places. My beloved friends, if we are able and have not already increased our attendance at the temple, let us regularly find more time to worship in the house of the Lord. Let us pray for the temples that have been announced, that properties can be purchased, that governments will approve plans, that talented workers will see their gifts magnified, and that the sacred dedications will bring the approval of heaven and the visit of angels. The temple is literally the house of the Lord. I promise you, as you come worthily and prayerfully to his holy house, you will be armed with his power, his name will be upon you, his angels will have charge over you, and you will grow up in the blessing of the Holy Ghost. The Lord promised, every soul who forsaketh his sins and cometh unto me, and calleth on my name, and obeyeth my voice and keepeth my commandments, shall see my face and know that I am. There are many different ways to see the face of Christ, and there is no better place than in his holy house. In this day of confusion and commotion, I testify that the temple is his holy house and will help preserve us, protect us, and prepare us for the glorious day when with all his holy angels, our Savior returns in majesty, power, and great glory.